Well, hello there, and welcome to another episode of Smash Writing. And if you're a WWE fan or a wrestling fan in general, and uh, you heard some groundbreaking news to uh, this earlier this week, what's that news? Well, I'm glad you asked. Even if you didn't, I'm going to tell you anyway. That's the point of the channel. Um, so earlier this week, uh, NBC announced that they struck a deal with WWE to buy w the, the uh, excuse me the WWE Network. Now, if you if you're not know if you don't know much about the WWE Network, it has been a price saving uh, streaming service for wrestling fans as a whole. Just just not with WWE. They they offer great content. Um, I mean, it's always nice to watch the you know wrestling glory days in the nineties with the. Uh, with the, the the Monday Night Wars, everything like that. It was such an exciting time. Well, I don't know if this deal was, this deal happened for a number of reasons. Um, or if it's all of the above. I don't know what NBC is trying to aim at. Or I think NBC might be trying to build up Peacock even more. I think Peacock is a great streaming service as it is. Um, they're making it better. And that's, that's a great thing. Early... Uh, I think even last week that NBC announced that NBC Sports um, would be uh, shutting down at the end of this year and the content would be spread out across its other channels and Peacock. So, okay, what that one aspect we were all okay just with that, like, mm, you know, like me personally. Um, I only really watch that channel when my team's on that channel, so I can understand, like, it's no big deal, it might be wasting money, and you can put those platforms on, they're still going to do sports, they're just going to do it on their other channels. Then, at the same time, the news was breaking that NBC was not happy with, uh, WWE's ratings. Now, as you must know, um, Monday Night Raw is on the USA, uh, Wednesday Night, uh, NXT, uh, which... They're billing as the, their third major brand, but in reality, it kind of seems like it, it will always be um, they're more of their training brand. Well, more than recently, Raw's ratings have been hitting low point after low point. Vince and man, the writers are trying to figure out what to do with the good stories to make this more intriguing. Um, NXT has been losing out to AEW. You know, not by like a landslide or anything like that, but nonetheless by two to three hundred thousand people uh, a week. It's been reported that NBC was very disappointed with the ratings, what's going on. And they are, you know, with the previous situation with them shutting down NBC Sports, those games were going to be, you know, on NBC. Um, USA and the biggest fear is like, okay, are they really gonna bump Monday Night Raw? Then, out of nowhere, now we know NBC and WWE had a working partnership, obviously because of those shows being on being on USA. Uh, then you had to sit back and like, okay, um, what's going to happen to Monday Night Raw? And then, as you're thinking about that, as you were thinking about that. They break the news that WWE sold WWE Network to NBC, and that the network will will stream exclusively on Peacock. So, for example, if you have the app on your Roku box, your Amazon Fire, um, everything like that, you'll now have to go to Peacock app. And click on that menu. Now we've seen some of the uh, WWE stuff already on there, but now this is exclusive. Now this is what blew my mind, and I don't know if this was WWE's long-term plans when they got this. Um, they sold the rights, which is like seventeen thousand programs, hours, or something like. That. I mean, there's there's a lot of great content. Um, but they sold it for an incredible one billion dollars. One billion dollars. How how insane is that? I don't know if this was smart on NBC's part. 
or WWE's part or both. Because here's the thing. And this starts in March. WrestleMania is going to be on Peacock. So we don't know the plans on how they're going to take the WWE Network fans, uh, the subscribers, and Adam on the Peacock. Um, but this is smart for you guys because this content won't be on the free version. It will be on the premium or plus. So if you're paying $9.99 for the network now, and you drop down the premium on Peacock, you should only be paying $4.99. So that is a steal for you. Now, I do not know. Uh, I'm assuming they're going to bank on that 1 million subscribers. And they might do more. I, I don't know. Um, because now with a lot of their other sports coming, Peacock could be blowing up very quickly uh, in the next couple of months. Well... For the rest of the year but this might be step one so was this wwe's plan did the pandemic have something to do with it it's kind of hard to tell because when wwe was promoting this like when it first came out i believe it was a couple years ago uh they seemed to really be big on it you know the pay-per-views were on there uh you know i mean wrestlemania is like 80 dollars a pay-per-view in reality, you can just get the network for $9.99 and watch WrestleMania for $9.99. Um, but I think they were so high on it. Now, I don't know what the pandemic had, any, if the pandemic had anything to do with it. Um, I know personally, when it comes to ratings watching WWE, and this is my feeling with sports as a whole. It's just not the same with the fans. The emotions from the fans, the roar of the crowd. Watching WWE with the thunder dome and the piped in uh, fake crowd sound just doesn't do it for me. You know, me and Justin reviews a lot of WWE stuff because we. I still lo I love wrestling. I just it's just a sports thing in general. I got to see the crowds there, and you don't. You don't have that right now. So maybe that's why the ratings are hurting. But financially, I don't know what type of position WWE was in. However, getting a billion dollars can cure any problem if that if WWE has that problem. Like, legitly. Um, so this deal seemed to be good for WWE in my eyes because they just made a billion dollars off of this. And it's not like they... I mean, yeah, it took money to make the streaming service, but they were making money off of it. You know, most of the stuff was just production stuff to get, and, and good stuff, good behind the story type of stuff, good shows. Uh, love watching past pay per views and having that access to watch those uh, past pay per views, you know, for ideas for shows, episodes, everything, you name it. Um, but then you see, okay, how does this work out for NBC? If they're putting it on the four ninety nine, if you just do the numbers at four ninety nine, uh, you know, let's hear. I think the uh, go four ninety nine times one zero 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 zero. Okay, on a year's time, they're roughly making boom. And that's with the four uh, ninety nine, nine ninety nine. You know, now you're talking. You could be getting your money back on the first year or two. Is this is a good investment for them. I I don't know. I don't know if they they might have bigger plans. They might want to make it bigger. They might want to charge more down the road. Uh, maybe they just want additional mil. I mean, that's a quick, easy way to get a million subscribers right off the bat. This deal might play out. I don't know. You know, if they were unhappy with the ratings, maybe they just say, hey, the content was better. We, you know, don't know all the details of this contract. So, obviously, this is a kind of story that's going to continue to grow, continue to watch. And we'll see how it plays out on Peacock. Um, 
I mean, I get Peacock Premium through my cable provider, so that's all good there. But we'll obviously play this out, and you know, what's going to happen to the app if, you know, I'm assuming the app is going to dissolve. Um, or, or, you know, or be on both. Who knows? We shall see in the time it comes. But this is definitely a big announcement happened this week. Definitely the last couple weeks was how NBC was unhappy. Um, with WWE, then NBC closing NBC Sports at the end of 2021. And then buying up the, the WWE Network and wonder what else they're going to add on the Peacock uh, streaming app. Who knows? Um, there was also reports that came out that ESPN Plus which has the Disney money, was interested in buying them, buying the, sh the network and adding on ESPN+. Plus. Then it happened. I don't know if, you know, Disney just said, hey, there's not enough money, for, you know, we don't see the value in the network or whatever to give them a billion dollars. I mean, I'm sure if they say we'll do a point one five bill billion, you know, if they were gave a, if they gave a higher number, um, but we all know because Disney's not afraid to spend money. Though the last ten years, they uh, their their spending probably hit like a trillion with buying everything up. Uh, ironically, because of this deal, and uh, ESPN said they're they're done talking about uh, WWE. I think that's a little bit of a sour apple. I I would still probably talk about it. You know. Um, but I guess that's it. I mean, they they just they want to cut the relationship because they didn't get the network. Is the network really that much of a big deal? I guess so. I mean, I, I don't know what to say on that one. I don't I don't really think it. It's you know, ESPN gets boring talking about the same stuff anyway. Oh, football, basketball, Tom Brady, blah blah blah. It's like there's there's other sports out there to talk about. Um, but. That's what the mouse put in the order, and that's what the mouse gets. So, yeah, WWE on Peacock starting, I think it was like March 15th. So, yeah, starting in March, mid-March. Welcome to Peacock. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.